Hey, Sam here, and today I'm going to be replacing my red dot pointer on my Montport laser. The other one had a bad connection in it. Alright, we're back here now. Here is the cable that the uh, spotter hooks up to, and as you notice, it's not a standard red or black and white. It's, it is a blue and brown, and in Europe and Asia and all around, most places, uh, the brown signifies positive and the blue is negative. And most of the stuff does not come with a schematic to figure out how to wire it up. So I'm going to show you some things you can do. First of all, we're going to put the black lead, this I'm using the multimeter, we're going to put the black lead on the blue, red lead on the brown. Now, you can see we got 4.9 volts there, it's a 5-volt system. And if you had the polarity light, it's going to be positive, which is what you want. Now, now if you have, you think this is wrong, and you, you're not really certain, you can hook it up opposite. Now, see, so it shows you a negative which means this polarity, or the meter, is wrong. So that means the red goes on the brown, black goes on the blue, and so that tells you your brown is positive and your blue is negative. Now, the sensor itself, it, it's going to be confusing because it's got a red and black wire on it. Well, it's the same thing in, in most of the areas in Europe and over there, the red is positive, black is negative. And if you really want to try this out, it's not going to hurt you, it's only five volts, you can take and uh, hook it up. If you got it right, see it's going to come on. Which means the red goes to the brown, black goes to the blue. Now if you get it backwards, this, this well, it is a diode in here. It just won't be powered in the right direction, so it won't come on. And you can see here, it won't come on. Okay. So now, as you can see, you already have that prepped. So I'm going to get it all ready, and then we're going to uh, solder this all up and get it ready to go and adjust it. All right. I forgot to turn the camera on while I was soldering this up, but that's some pretty boring stuff anyway. You probably didn't want to watch it, but here's the sensor all hooked up and got some shrink wrap tubing on it to insulate it. And now we're going to take this and route it back over to the nozzle and uh, line this thing up. Alright, here we are back. Now, I got this routed underneath of here, and you can actually adjust this lens on this thing a little bit. To me, it turns better somewhat with a Q-tip, but it's got like a little slot in it, and I'm going to try and get it most narrow beams I can get, but this one will turn and make a beam sideways like that. I don't want that really. Well, that looks that looks pretty good. Can't really see it on this camera, but that's a pretty small dot. So now I'm gonna put that in here. All right. And uh, that still seems to be a little bit big. So I'm gonna try. Yeah, we're gonna take it out. And we're gonna get down here and yeah q-tip can really get in that groove right there because you can't really see it on this camera I got I got a new camera coming by the way so I think I'm just gonna for now I'm gonna leave it at that dot right there and we'll tighten this up and uh, get it all set and then we're going to line it up with the dot on the laser 
depending on wherever that's at. And you don't want that too tight now, so. All right, so we're gonna fire this laser and see where we're at. Now, you see right there where the dot is. And so, yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna get right on that. And uh, I need to rotate this. Uh, oops. Well, we're gonna have to do that again since we moved our mark. And I'm gonna put this back on. Well, that's probably too bright, but anyway. Now, well, oh, moved it again. All right. Now we got a laser mark. Let me get the uh, Allen wrench in here. Now we're gonna move this over here on the mark. And I don't, I don't know if you can see it or not, but yeah, we're gonna a little bit more right here. Well. Kind of cold out here in the garage today. Now we're right on the mark again. All right, now I'm gonna shoot this again and just a hair off, and let's tighten this a little bit more. And later on, I'll probably just try to adjust that red dot some more so it's smaller. But right now, we just want something to go by when we frame this. Okay, so we're going to leave that there with that. And so let's get a calibration in here. And let's see. That's. Mine usually sets at 20 most of the time. So we're gonna fire this again. And just a hair, hair off. Now I don't know if you can see it in that picture. Let's see if I can get it darker. I don't know if you can see it, but in the middle of that red dot is the laser dot. And everybody should make them one of these. This is one of those step gauges. This one goes from two to 30 millimeter this is real easy whenever you go do your uh, re uh, line test for the ramp and you know it's really kind of hard to measure in that small spot where the beam is the tiniest but whenever you see it you can just slide this right in there between your piece and your laser and look on it and get your reading so hey there's a tip for today get you a did you want to make you a step gauge? So, I guess that's it. So now, we're kind of, uh, we're all set to go. Got some more brightness here. We'll take in, uh, it's so bright in here right now, you can't hardly see everything. Let's see if I can, yeah, get it back down. And we see the red dot over there. So, well, there you go, now we have a red dot pointer on our laser, everything's ready to go. So, hey, if you go, if you guys want a Montport laser, like this one, down below the uh, description right here, I got a code for 6% off of any of the lasers. So, hey, if you want one, just, just go, go to Montport, type in my code, and get yourself a laser. Now y'all have a good day now. Bye.